Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'm using some ink blending with the gorgeous Lovely Layers Easter Lily die and the Quatrefoil cover plate dies from the newest release. So let's get started. First I die cut the Lovely Layers Easter Lily several times from Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. Then I stick the bottom layers on some tacky tape to hold them in place for ink blending. I'm using Distress Oxide inks today, and I start with a little abandoned coral and ripe persimmon ink on the edges of the petals. You can see what parts of the lily will be most visible on each layer by looking for the decorative score lines. So here I paid special attention to the ink blending on the two petals closest to the middle petal. Then I just added a light layer of ripe persimmon to the entire layer. It won't really be visible underneath the other layers, but I wanted to make sure it would look orange and not white if you caught a side view. I set those aside to dry and adhered my next layer to the tape. With this layer, I made sure that the weakest part of the die, the two side petals, were firmly stuck to the tape so they wouldn't move and possibly tear with my ink blending. Then I used squeezed lemonade, mustard seed, ripe persimmon, and a tiny bit of abandoned coral. I went back and forth between the colors until I had a nice soft blend. I continued this process for all of the layers using the same four colors for the petals and a little scattered straw for the stamens. I die cut the top part of the stamens from gold glitter cardstock. This is what the flowers look like after ink blending. They're pretty, but I wanted to add even more interest. So I smushed a little abandoned coral, ripe persimmon, and mustard seed distress oxide ink onto my glass mat and then splattered the layers with the different inks. Once I was done, I set them aside to dry while I worked on the rest of the card. Next, I die cut both layers of the quatrefoil die from black cardstock and adhered them together. I also die cut the leaves from the Lovely Layers Lily set several times from gold glitter cardstock. Once the petals were dry, I started adhering them together. The dies are designed with matching curves and notches, so it's very easy to see how they fit together. I used regular adhesive for the flowers, except for the bottom part of the lily in bloom. For that petal, I used foam mounting tape for a little extra dimension.
Off camera, I stamped and die cut the sentiment from friend and arranged everything over my quatrefoil panel. I adhered each piece to the panel with liquid glue and HG adhesive, and then added the sentiments with foam mounting tape. I decided to leave some of the overhang for interest, but if I needed to mail this card, I could easily trim those pieces off to fit in an envelope more easily. Off camera, I did end up trimming off some of the overhang and adding another leaf to the bottom right corner. And that's it! I love the versatility of this die set and all the different ways you can add color to the lilies. From elegant Easter lilies to bold and bright Asiatic lilies like these. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting! Bye!